Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to your reading for uh, mid-June 2023. Uh, we're going to jump right in here and see what is going on for you. Uh, you have this transmutation card and this uh, healing card. So I feel for a lot of you, um, you are healing through some sort of change that could be happening in your life. Um, I feel like you're becoming more independent and you know, you're kind of like stepping into this very abundant time is what I feel for you. And so, um, you know, you could be very focused on yourself. You do have the four of wands, which is a card of marriage, but, and you know, it doesn't really have to be marriage. <laughs> it could be, as I say that I pull the two of cups, but it could be, you know, just you kind of committing to yourself or uh, committing to something uh, that you want to do in your life. Um, you know, it could be love here. But again, it doesn't have to be. The Two of Cups can just be you and your higher self. So you could be, again, just kind of like tapping into your higher self. You could be listening to your inner voice, like what your higher self is telling you to do or whatever the case may be. But we're, we're definitely going to look into it. Again, you have the Nine of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, and the Devil. Some of you could be uh, going through a divorce or separation. I mean, Nine of Pentacles, a card of independence, um, Four of Wands, marriage, and then obviously the Devil. Uh, could be separating away from something that is toxic. Uh, your, you know, your ex or whatever doesn't have to be toxic. It could just be that you're just, you know, separating away <laughs> from something. Although what I will say is that you do have this devil son to the seven of swords. Some of you could be seeing the light. You know, you could be seeing something um, like getting the truth basically from a situation, especially when we have like the sun to the seven of swords, it can say the truth is being revealed. The other interesting thing is, is that going down to the death card here, the two pillars from the moon show up in the background and the sun is coming up between the two pillars on the moon. So it kind of says that you are leaving behind a moon period, like a period of confusion, um, not knowing what to do, not knowing what the next steps are, not trusting your intuition or, you know, needing to trust your intuition or fantasy. And you're kind of, um, you know, you could be seeing, um, what I'm trying to spit out here is there could be some secrets that are being revealed. And, um, you know, the, are these really secrets? I would say no. I feel like these are things that you've always known. So, you know, sometimes I think we uh, kind of trick ourselves out of thinking that we don't know something that we totally do know. <laughs> and I kind of have one of those situations popping into my head here, Virgo. So, you know, you might be getting the truth of some matter, but it's probably something you always knew. I also feel that, again, you're uh, kind of increasing your abundance, which I think for the past few weeks, at least, you've been, it seems to me like the past few weeks readings have been all about kind of really um, being focused and really increasing your abundance. You have the four wands here. The four wands is a card of freedom. It can definitely represent, you know, there could be some sort of separation going on here because, you know, four wands, we have the sun, two wands, which is like where you have always been, and then the five of swords. The Five of Swords is showing up in the area of the good stuff. So this last row is going to, no matter what shows up here, it's going to be positive no matter what. But it is interesting. You know, some of you, it could be a positive thing. It's like, obviously, like, I think what people don't realize is that, you know, if you're dating like a liar, cheater, stealer or something like that, it is a good thing to get away from that person. <laughs> it's like, you know, I think people are get hurt and everything like that. And I totally understand it. Like, I totally get being hurt by a person or whatever. But at the same time, it's like, that's why it's, you know, it, it can show up as a good thing in a reading because it's like, you're no longer having having to deal with that person. It's like, yeah, it might've hurt to leave the person, but it's a positive not to be with them any longer. So, you know, I, I definitely feel that type of energy here. Although I will say that for some of you, I feel like you totally see it as a positive. So it's not even, you know, that big of a deal. Uh, I also feel that for some of you, you could be kind of cleaning up your act here a little bit. <laughs> you know, it's like if, if you have any toxic behaviors or, you know, you could be getting healthy or something like that. It's definitely popping into my head with the devil. Um, and again, I think this will just make you more effective in life in general. So, you know, if you're thinking about getting healthy or any of that other stuff, I think that could be a good thing as well. Uh, with the Nine of Pentacles, you have the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands, I thought I saw something else here about that m could have gone along with this, but I didn't. Um, you know, Eight of Wands, card of quick success, could also be communication. So you could be receiving communication from a person. Uh, I do, there, so far, uh, Leo, uh, Scorpio, Capricorn, that's all that stands out to me so far. So if you're attracting love, it could be a Leo, Scorpio, or a Capricorn, but take it how it resonates. It's general reading. It could be any sign, but I do feel there could be communication. With the Four of Wands, you have the King of Cups, could be a water sign as well. 
Um, but what I would say here is I feel like you're more tapped into your emotions in this, like going this way. The thing about the sun is that the sun can represent going towards your happiness. You know, the sun shines a light on things that bring us joy, happiness, abundance, whatever. Um, whether, you know, whether we move towards the sun or not is up to us. It's like there are, you know, there are plenty of things I think that, you know, can, uh, we can say, oh, that makes me happy. You know, like this job would make me happy. This person would make me happy. But whether we move towards it or not is up to us, right? With the devil, you have the queen of swords. Yeah, I mean, more clarity. Queen of swords, she sees things clearly for the first time. She normally only has clouds halfway up her body. So it's like she sees the situation for what it is. It's like you clearly see something very, very clearly. I mean, I literally said that at the beginning of the reading. So I feel like you see the truth of a matter very clearly. Uh, this doesn't even have to be a bad thing, by the way. It could be lying, cheating, stealing. I do feel that for some of you, where it's like you see a person was toxic. For others, seven of swords represents doing things in a different way. So he is stealing these swords. And sorry, I'm choking. My allergies are super bad today, but um, so bear with me. But um, what I would say here is that he's stealing these swords from this army that's in the background here. And um, so he's going to war, but just in a different way. He's not he's not facing that army head on, you know. And, um, you know, I feel like for some of you, you could be coming up with new ways to like run your business or to do what you do. And it's probably going to lead to a lot of success. Uh, next for in the area of what you need to hear right now, you have this rhino spirit says overcome any obstacle. And then you have this frog spirit says clear out the clutter. Yes, nine of pentacles. Nine of Pentacles is all about your environment. There is a snail on the Nine of Pentacles, and snails represent, you know, they, they wear their homes on their back. So it kind of represents their environment. And for a lot of you, I feel like being in a more positive environment or making sure that you are in a positive environment is going to spill over into other areas of your life. Frogs are also symbols of like abundance. So I do feel there could be more abundance coming in for you or or at least you are very focused on abundance. Funny enough, frogs also represent transmutation. You have that Phoenix card, which says transmutation on it. You know, frogs go from tadpoles to frogs. And so they go through a metamorphosis. I feel like for some of you, you literally could be going through a metamorphosis or like a big change in your life. You have the Two of Cups, the Sun, and the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Cups could be love, of course. Uh, two of Cups would be a perfect match. But Two of Cups can represent you and your higher self. Uh, to me, it can be you receiving messages from your higher self or receiving guidance or inner guidance like towards the things that you um, you know, want to do in your life or things that you want to take a risk on. We even go to the Two of Wands. Two of Wands, he has to take a leap of faith off of this, um, the top of this castle here. He's standing at the top of a castle and he's looking out he's looking out into the world even though he has the whole world in his hands he's just looking at what's in front of him he's not looking at the world you know he's not looking at all the possibilities so i kind of feel you need to open up more to all the possibilities that exist and like don't try to um, you know, box yourself in here. You have the sun. So there's clearly something that could make you happy. But again, I feel like the problem, it's not really like a problem. I think this is a minor speed bump right here, Virgo, the two of wands. Um, you know, I don't consider the two of wands to be a bad card, but in your reading, it's popping into my head as an obstacle. I don't even think it's that big of an obstacle. I think it's not just not seeing that there are other ways that you can accomplish the things that you want to accomplish in your life, right? It's like sometimes I think we just don't know. We just don't know that, that that there could be a better way to do things. So how do we solve this problem? Well, we can you know ask people who know more than us. We can learn from experts. We can there's there are YouTube videos about literally everything that exists. So if there's something you need to learn, go and learn. If the, you, there are plenty of books, and people always say I can't afford books, I'm like go to the library. It's like free, right? So it's like there's there's no excuse here. If you really want something, I feel like you will do it and. The Two of Wands is a card of kind of like needing to get realize that there are other ways of doing things, basically. You have the Two of Pentacles, same thing. Two of Pentacles is like work hard, play hard. It is a card of like spinning plates or trying to do too much. And I do kind of feel like you could be trying to do too much right now. So, you know, you do have a very independent energy here, Virgo. But, you know, I would just say make sure that you <laughs> make sure that you realize that there's a million ways to do things. And, um, you know, that there could be other people who can like help you or who can guide you. Um, you might not even be having that many problems, right? But there, we could always be improving our life. So I feel like there could be some sort of improvement, but you have to like open up to it to get it. Uh, let's see. Uh, with the Two of Cups, you have the Seven of Pentacles. Definitely a change in direction in your love life. Um, there's some sort of change. It, you know, you have two sevens here. Two sevens is internal fears that don't exist. And so I feel like the fear is never finding a person who wants to work together 
on like a team or who, you know, f- never finding a person who wants to work towards the same thing. It's like three of pentacles, those three people are all working in the same direction. They're all working towards a common goal. And so I feel like that's the fear is like not being able to find a person, um, you know, who wants the same things that you do. And I feel like you need to let go of your fears, obviously. Now with the sun, you have the six of cups, some sort of turnaround coming in for you here. So I feel like there are either improvements or there is a turnaround. Six of cups, you know, can represent thinking about the past, nostalgia, but really it's a card of, um, you know, a turnaround. I, I always say that the six of cups really represents like a gift from the universe. And the gift we usually receive from the six of cups is like I said, a turnaround or, um, you know, things improving for us in some way. With the two of pentacles, you have the two of wands. You have the two of wands twice going this way here. And so clearly this is going to be much easier than this, the two of pentacles. Two of pentacles is spinning plates, um, not getting very much done because you're trying to do things on your own. And going this way is like we're getting a lot done. Uh, three of pentacles represents quality work and good work. <laughs> and it's because you're working together with other people. So the two wand says, just again, open up to other ways of doing things. Uh, next in the area of the unexpected, you have this card that says, own your time and give it meaning. Don't let time pass you by. Yes. Uh, you have this, you're going to master your material reality in the future. I feel like this is a big focus for you. Like I said, uh, is like mastering your material reality or mastering what's in front of you, you know, or, um, you know, kind of creating your own reality. I, I don't even, th- even think this is just material as in money. I think this is material as in everything. You know, I in what I would say here is, again, I'm not like one of those spiritual teachers that's like, oh, don't make money because uh, I think that, you know, I, like I always say, I think that one of my one of my bones to pick with the spiritual community is they're all like spiritual. <laughs> and why is that a problem? Is because I believe we are spirit here on earth to have a human experience. We're not necessarily meant to be spiritual, like super spiritual. Is there anything wrong with being spiritual? No. But what I'm saying is like getting lost in it or only thinking that we're supposed to be spiritual. It's like, no, we are here to have a human experience. God lives through us, through what we create. So, you know, I believe we need to create as much as possible or, you know, create a reality as much as possible, whatever that means for you. And by doing that, then you are, you know, basically um, living your purpose. I think that, you know, part again, another bone I have to pick with the spiritual community is that certain parts of it make it seem like there's some sort of purpose. Our purpose is to create our own reality. That's it. There's uh, You are not here to do anything <laughs> other than whatever your heart is telling you to do. Again, too many people think like, oh I'm, oh, I'm supposed to become some sort of evil lawyer or, you know, doctor or something like that. It's like, no, you're like, what does your heart tell you to do? That's what you're supposed to do. And you know what brings you joy? What brings you happiness? That's that's what you're supposed to do. You have the Seven of Swords, the Two of Wands, and the Death card. Seven of Swords is about realizing that, again, there are other ways of doing things. He is stealing those swords from that army in the background there. And so he's, he's going to war, but he's not going directly to war. He's not like, you know... Uh, ch- chasing those people down and hitting them with the swords. He's making sure that they can't use those swords against him. So he's doing things differently. It just basically says open up to other ways of doing things. Uh, Tuan, same thing. You know, his story is that he rushed to a finish line. He accomplished everything he thinks he wanted to accomplish, but he has the whole world in his hands right here. He just needs to realize that he can have whatever he wants. But again, he has to like go have the experiences. He has to get into the world and he has to go see you know, like what is out there. And that's what I would encourage you to do. Some of you could be traveling. Now you have the death card. Um, You know, some of you could be dealing with the Scorpio. I also feel that some of you, I really feel the moon thing. Again, these two pillars right here are from the moon card and the sun is coming up between those two pillars. So I kind of feel like you're leaving behind a moon period or you're coming out of a moon period basically is what this is saying to me. Uh, With the seven of swords, you have the emperor here. The emperor is about to being bossing up. <laughs> I feel like you're ready for action. I feel really good about this. I don't know. I feel I feel much much better than I did. Is what I feel like saying. It's like you know. I just feel like a different energy here. I feel like bossing up. I feel like you're kind of ready to take action on things that you want to create. Uh, you could also be attracting like a real boss. Uh, with the two wands, you have the ace of pentacles. There's some sort of big opportunity coming in for you. Like don't be afraid of you know taking some opportunities that you don't that you know, that you didn't really think you would want, that you would want or something like that. I don't know. I just, I get like some sort of random kind of like opportunity popping up for you, especially in work or business. You know, there could be like, maybe your boss comes to you and like gives you an opportunity where it's not really what you do for your job. I don't know. I have something weird popping into my head where it's like not really what you do, but you could do it. (laughs) You know, if you have one of those opportunities, I would take it. Um, The other thing I'm getting here is that 
Like if you need a job or if you have a business, there's like something involving travel in work or business. And again, I would take it because it looks very profitable. Uh, with the death card, you have the page of wands. I feel like you need to follow your desire, exactly what I've been saying. There's been a switch in the world, I believe, where, you know, it's like I always talk about this, how, you know, a lot of the business experts out there, they say, you know, don't create a passion-based business. Don't, um, you know, don't create something based off your passions or whatever. But I actually think that's what we need to do right now is like do something that we are passionate about, do something that brings us joy, happiness, abundance, that makes us feel those things as well. Uh, if we do that, then we'll probably change the world. But if not, then we won't. So, <laughs> you know, I would start moving in that direction. Uh, next, you have this no place like home card and this community card. Some of you, I do feel, could be moving somewhere where you really ha feel a sense of community. This is coming up in the good stuff. No matter what shows up here, it's going to be good no matter what. And so I feel some of you could be going somewhere where you feel a sense of community. You could also be moving home. Like if you moved away from your home, uh, you could be moving back home or wherever you're from. And, you know, it could make you feel really good. So if you're thinking about doing that, I would definitely do that here. But there, uh, for others, I feel like you could be building a community as well. You have the Three of Pentacles, the uh, Five of Swords, and the Five of Pentacles. Uh, three of Pentacles is a card of teamwork. And, um, you know, it kind of says teamwork makes a dream work. So anything you could do to work with other people will probably be very profitable for you at the very least. Three of Pentacles is a card of quality work as well. So it's like whatever you do is, is going to lead to you know, it's going to be of quality. So uh, love it. You have the five of swords. Five of swords is about taking a risk. So and especially when it shows up in the good stuff. Again, if this showed up somewhere else, then it would be a different story. But it's showing up in the good stuff. So I feel like you're separating away from things that no longer serve you. And you also could be taking a risk. Um, I feel like the risk is this actually, <laughs> is the five of pentacles. Again, this is showing up in the good stuff. So I feel like you're probably coming out of the cold financially. But I feel like what the risk is, is that the five of pentacles says, do not call attention to your weaknesses. That's like the solution to the five of pentacles. But I feel like you are focusing on a strength. Like you could have some sort of um, talent, gift, skill, or ability that you haven't been using in work or business. And it's like popping into my head that you could be doing something where you are using some sort of talent, gift, skill, or ability, or, or you're kind of like doing something, um, or you have something that you're, you haven't been using. And it's like, you're using it all of a sudden. I don't know. <laughs> it's like, you know, maybe you went to school for something and you've never gotten a job based off of like what you went to school for and now you are. Or maybe you just have some sort of talent, gift, skill, or ability that's very valuable and it's like now you can use it. Uh, with the Three of Pentacles, you have the Devil. Again, this is going to be the good stuff. There could be a Capricorn coming in for you. I do think uh, Virgo and Capricorn is a good match. So, you know, if you're attracting a Capricorn or like an Earth sign or someone with Capricorn in their chart, you know, this could be a very solid match for you just in love in general. With the Five of Swords, you have the Seven of Cups here. Much more focus. We, we were kind of talking about that earlier. Seven of Cups normally is a card of being spoiled for choice, but I kind of feel like you're very focused now. Again, this is coming up in the good stuff. So it's like you're, you know, it's almost like you're picking a cup and making it happen. I always say there are good things and bad things in the cups that are that's on the Seven of Cups, but it's almost like you're, um, you know, I kind of feel like you're picking one thing and making it happen. With the Five of Pentacles, you have the Six of Wands. Definitely a victory or success coming in for you with the Six of Wands. So love to see that. I also feel there's a ton of positive attention for you. You have the Sun, the Three of Pentacles, and the Six of Wands all represent like positive attention. So if you're trying to get attention like work, business, uh, you know, even in love, I would definitely say this is positive attention. Uh, we're going to pull five main themes now. You have the Strong Emotions card, positive love or hate. So, you know, uh, I feel there could be strong emotions in some sort of situation. Seems to me like your emotions could really be kind of creating your own reality at this time. So I would make sure to be careful of your emotions, especially with the, um, you know, with that card that says you're going to master your material reality in the future. You can master your material reality in the on the negative side as well. So, <laughs> you know, I would keep it positive. You have this broom card. It says new home, new attitude. So again, if you're moving, uh, we saw a ton of moving stuff in this reading. If you're moving or again, you you know, I, we don't have to take tarot literally. You could be moving to a new job and maybe you, you know, that that is like a move. You could be making moves in your business, but like whatever it is, I feel like it's going to kind of change your attitude for the better. Uh, you have this parrot card that says someone will gossip about you and all your secrets. I mean, you know, <laughs> what else is new, Virgo, is what I feel like saying. You know, we had that Mars retrograde in, in Gemini. And even though Mars is not in Gemini any longer, it doesn't matter. I mean, to me, 
whenever we have a year which basically went retrograde last year and then into this year was retrograde um, in in Gemini, I always say like, you know, I would be careful of gossip. I would avoid gossip at all costs because, you know, Mars and Gemini is like notorious. Mars and Gemini in general is notorious for gossip. Then when it retrogrades, it's even worse. I, I would just ignore it. You have this harp, it says great happiness. I feel like there's a lot of more happiness coming in for you a lot more joy, like a lot more things to be happy about. I want to clarify this. Yeah, you have this involvement with the law card. Some of you feel like you're getting justice is what I feel like. You know, if someone did you dirty or if something happened in your past that you feel like was dirty, then I feel like there's justice coming in here. You also have this ink pot card that says problems to be resolved. There are going to be, didn't I say speed bumps in your reading or something like that? <laughs> I feel like there are just like some tiny little speed bumps. You know, I think it was on the two of wands where I was saying this that have to be overcome, but don't like turn them into mountains. You know, don't turn molehills into mountains basically. But this is a really good reading. I love this. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your month.